Good evening. What's up? How's it going? How we all doing? Um, today, as you can see, I'm back. I didn't feel like playing Animal Crossing today once again. So I'm going to do something different on the channel. We're doing a ranking video. This is the first time I've ever done a ranking video on this channel. Don't Google it. And yeah, first, let's address the elephant in the room. And that is my fat ass, which I will not be showing because I do not want to get demonetized. Um, Second, I have this thingy. As you can see, it's a windscreen pop filter mic thingy. So now I'm officially a professional. But immediately, I must say that I'm not fully a professional yet because if you don't know, I use my phone to record my face cam. And currently, um... I did not practice this. God, I should have thought this through. As you can see, my phone is currently balanced on my Switch. Thank you. Okay. As you can tell by the title of the video, we are going to be, or by we, I mean me, because this is my channel, not yours. We're going to be ranking all the NPCs in the game. As you can see, here they all are. And as soon as I say that, I realize the Orville brothers are missing from this. Who cares? RIP to the Orville brothers. We'll just say that for now. I was originally going to do all the villagers in the game because I promised that video for quite some time now, but I realized that there's 400 villagers in the game and I don't want to spend God knows how long ranking 400 villagers at least not today we'll do that some other time and then i thought "Ooh, let's just do all the npcs in new horizons but then i realized that that video would be too short because there's only like three of them so we're gonna do the entire animal crossing series today as you can see they're all here minus the dodo brothers and anybody else i feel like there's one more missing like i said never done a ranking video before this is the first ranking video i've ever done on the channel please don't google it let's just start off immediately by by going over all the tiers. Now, I could just simply use S, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, whatever, but I am a creative bitch. We all know this. I deserve to be um, inducted in the Louvre, just me standing there as an exhibit because my creativity is just that artistic. So I decided to give each of the tiers a name to represent the tiers, duh. So I decided to base it off Animal Crossing since this is an Animal Crossing related video and go over pretty much all the features in the game. Words, I don't know how. <laughs> I'm supposed to have this video out on Wednesday the 21st. It's currently the 20th. I usually edit the day before, but as you can see, I'm recording. So there's going to be a community post tomorrow saying, sorry, there's no video. This is that video that I'm talking about. And you can probably tell <laughs> why it's late. So, so sorry. Anyways, the tiers. There's five of them today. We're going to start off with the F tier, or as I labeled it, that. I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to mention his name. But as we all know, that is the worst thing to come from Animal Crossing. Also, yes, I have have a blanket i am it, it's hot as fuck up here in canada not anymore but like ontario's on fire so all of ontario is very hot and here i am with a blanket and a shirt that says virgin because yes i am i don't even know if this thingy works i think i'm supposed to have it like i don't know how to use this anyways the next tier the d tier which i believe is like the worst feature to come with animal crossing new horizons just new horizons breakable tools nintendo why why that's that's just a question I have in general, but specifically with breakable tools, why? And that pretty much sums up anybody who lands in that tier. Why? And then the F tier is simply that they just shouldn't exist, but there's nothing I can do about that. The next tier is the C tier. Some may refer to it as the meh tier. I refer to it as the better graphics tier because true, if you are not new to the channel, you would know that one of my favorite things that came with New Horizons are the better graphics, but that's a given. Obviously the graphics are gonna get better. So it's kind of expected. They just kind of do the job. The meh tier, the better graphics tier, the C tier, the, yeah, the C tier, they just do their job. They're here to get their coin and move on. There's nothing special about them, but there's also nothing horrible about them. They're just there. The B tier or the A tier, I don't fucking know. I guess it's the A tier and the better graphics is the B tier, C tier, D tier. There's no F tier. Oh, whatever. Who cares? I'm not a fucking professional. I just said that already. Um, The next tier, let's just say it's the A tier. No, the B tier. No, the A tier. Let's just say it's the A tier. <laughs> um, It's the big pockets tier because again, I feel like objectively, this is a better feature that came with New Horizons because if you don't know in past games, we only have had like 16 pocket spaces now we have 40 it still doesn't feel like enough but who cares because it's better than what it was in previous games and i don't know how the fuck i managed to only have 16 pocket spaces in real life i only have two i have one pocket on either side that's a horrible joke i'm gonna shut up now and number one we have the s tier 
I spent eight minutes trying to fucking describe the tiers. So I don't know how long this video is gonna be. Here I am getting distracted again, I'm sorry. S tier, AKA the best feature to come with New Horizons. <laughs> Terraforming, duh, we all fucking saw that coming. Of course, bad bitches. Without terraforming, let's be honest, without terraforming, Animal Crossing New Horizons would have been a dud. Thank God for terraforming. <laughs> you couldn't even see my thumb. This fucking mic is huge. I'm sorry, oh God. If y'all thought my Q&A with my face was messy, this, <laughs> let's just get started. Editor me is gonna figure out how to lay this out. I, I'm using my phone to record this and I'm just screen recording my computer because OBS does not work on my computer. I have a shit Mac. Yeah, that's another reason why this video is coming out late. But um, anyways, three, two, one. Boom, cool. Editor me will figure it out. <laughs> Shall we finally get started on ranking? As you could see, wow. I scroll on this fucking mouse is huge. I'm sorry, I am getting distracted. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, here's pretty much almost all the NPCs in the game, minus the Dodo Brothers. Um, I'll just start off with the Dodo Brothers. I'm too lazy to, we'll edit them in later. Let's start off with Orville, just cause he's not there. Orville, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, I guess just based off that reaction alone, better graphics. He doesn't really offer much, does he? I mean, like, he's a good character. I do like him. He's kind of nerdy. I feel like if he was a human, he would be, like, a nerd. Like, kind of, like, the nerdy character. I'm thinking, like, Eric Foreman from the That 70s Shows. That's the kind of vibe I get from him. Very lanky, very kind of annoying, but, like nerdy so he's he's cool i guess but like you know it's just it's the fucking dialogue every single time you want to go on a freaking villager hunt you have to deal with him being like blah 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 what do you got there oh you got a nook miles ticket do you want to use it of course i fucking want to use it it's in my pockets and then he has to get the exact same speech every freaking time i would like to put him in a higher tier because i really do like the dodo brothers remember last year when everybody was simping for them that was that was a moment honestly He's just gonna go on the better graphics tier. I, I just, meh. Wilbur, on the other hand, I do like Wilbur. I feel like between him and Orville, Wilbur is obviously better. He's definitely not a terraforming tier though. So I think we're just gonna put him in big pockets. You know, he's pretty cool. He's very chill, hip. He's got like sunglasses. He's basically Orville, but with sunglasses and a deeper voice and much cooler. Yeah, I guess he's gonna go in the big pockets tier. He's cool, but he could be cooler. Who knows? Anyways, let's just actually get into the video now, now that those two are out of the way. Yeah, like I said, this is almost every NPC in Animal Crossing as a whole, and I, I, I'm just gonna go in alphabetical order just because it's already in alphabetical order. So with that out of the way, we're just gonna start off right now with this bitch over here, Miss Blanca. And let me tell you right now, I miss her so much. Oh my God, we're always hyping about Brewster and like also there's hype for Cap'n. Where is the hype? for Blanca. Blanca, if you don't know, they are just kind of an icon. I really do love them, especially in New Leaf. I feel like New Leaf was the best iteration of Blanca. They're basically the mascot for April Fool's Day because in New Leaf, it was a like an actual holiday day. And basically they would go around kind of pulling pranks on your town and your villagers. This video is basically just me explaining all these missing NPCs and what they do. So if New Horizons was your first game, I keep watching, you might learn something new about a video game. Um, I, f I should have said that at the beginning. <laughs> Blanca was cool. Like they would go around and like kind of pull pranks on you. They'd be like, oh, I'm gonna go to one of your villagers houses and like mess with you. And then you would go to the villagers house and there would be two of them there just like like kind of fighting each other and it was your job to kind of figure out which one was the real one and which one was just Blanca in disguise when you if you guess correctly fun fact you actually get their photo the villagers photos so it was really like one of the easiest ways in the game to get all your villagers photos you didn't have to be close with them at all and I really wish they would bring it back I don't know why they haven't it's been a year and we've had two April Fool's days since launch and no Blanca so Nintendo Please watch this entire video because I will be talking to you directly throughout most of this. Please bring Blanca back. Make the New Age fans realize how much of an icon they are. And because of that, I think we're gonna start off right off with a big bang and put Blanca in the terraforming tier because Blanca is a fucking icon. Anyways, next up, oh, we're we're continuing with this big ass bang because next up we have fucking Blathers. No fucking comment. Terraforming tier, I fucking love Blathers 
so much. Blathers is, I would say, top three. I'm going to reveal it right now. Blathers is top three NPCs for me. One of the best NPCs in the game. Love his character. Love just everything about him. Somebody said that <laughs> Blathers is basically Jack Black and Jumanji. And fun fact, new character trait unlocked about me. I fucking love Jack Black. <laughs> like, the way I feel about Chris Hemsworth now is how I used to feel about Jack Black. So do with that what you will. I love Blathers so much. I just love, like... Someone who just cares so much about what they love. Like, Blathers just loves animals and fossils, especially fossils. Ugh, God. And just hearing him talk about fossils every fucking day is just so adorable. Let him have his own fossil collection that isn't the museum. Oh, my God. Anyways, yeah, Blathers is in the terraforming tier. Again, no explanation as to why, but cool. Next up, we have Booker. Booker's cool. <laughs> I don't know, I guess. Like, there's two cops in the game. I don't know why there's cops in Animal Crossing, but there are. There's two in the game. We have Booker, and then we also have Copper. We'll get into Copper later. I would say that Booker of the two of them is much better. In previous games, when Booker and Copper were in the game, they would basically run Lost and Found, both in New Leaf and I think, like, GameCube as well. And then in City Folk, they were kind of, like, just the guards that, like, you would go to they were essentially like the orville and the wilbur you would go to your friends islands using or your friends towns using them you would just go up to them be like open the gate and then they go and then they'd be like close the gate and then yeah you know what that is booker's cute he's basically like the lazy cop of the two of them very lazy very like <sighs> the entire time um kind of like scully from brooklyn 99 that's the best way to describe him so i kind of like that i always love a good lazy cop trope in my tv shows i like scully Scully as well. He's not my favorite character from the show, but he is, he's up there for me personally. He doesn't really offer much other than that though, if I'm being honest. He is pretty cute though, but I, I just, I'm just, meh, you know, he's meh. Better graphics. He does his job. He doesn't really, you know, he's not a fan favorite, especially for me. Like he's just kind of there. A lot of people, you know, the best way to describe him. Falling off that big bang, but I think it's going to get shot right back up because next up we have Brewster. I feel like I'm going to say this right now to all the new who Horizon stands who are seeing all of us old people being like, oh my god, where the fuck is Brewster? Where is Brewster? When they finally introduce him in the game, or at least like if you go back and like watch gameplay videos of Brewster in previous games, you're gonna be like, why the fuck do people like him so much? Cause like, I'm gonna be honest, I love Brewster too. He's he's top three for me as well. There, boom, already my other top three, like Brewster, Blathers, and there's another one, we'll get to him later. Spoiler alert, it's a he, sorry. Um, I do like Brewster a lot. I think I just relate to him you know we both wear glasses I only just recently got glasses but now we both wear glasses we're both pretty chill and quiet fun fact I'm actually very quiet in real life a lot of people don't realize that if they watch this channel um we both like coffee you know I do like him as like a character design and just as a character I think he's really cool and I think that's the reason why a lot of people like him but in terms of gameplay like he's kind of just there I will say though in New Leaf I really did like what they did with him at New Leaf um you know he got his own coffee shop because in previous games he was just kind of like the in the basement of the museum and apparently that's what they're gonna do with him again and I really hope they don't but at the same time I kind of understand why they would again I I really hope they don't. I really hope they give him his own shop. I just like, I kind of like how in New Leaf he had his own shop, basically. He was kind of on his own. He was an independent businessman, as he should. And I also really love that even though you were the mayor of the town, um, you could work for him part time. And I thought that was really cute. You would like unlock um, special kind of furnitures relating to coffee, like a coffee maker, a coffee grinder. Am I recording my screen? Yeah, I am. And you would also get gyroids from him. The Brewster gyroids, they basically look like Brewster. It was cute. But I know like in older games, he was essentially the way you would store your gyroids um, because Brewster really likes them. You know, everybody to each their own. Um, but I, 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 again, like, I think a lot of new age fans, especially when they do bring him, I'm calling it now, like a lot of the newer fans, when Brewster is finally in the game, because let's be honest, he is coming. There's no way they're not just going to like leave him out of the game. That's a stupid business move on their part. Yeah. I feel like a lot of y'all are going to be like, he's overhyped. You're going to realize, like, you're going to think he's overhyped and I'm okay with that. But like I said, I do like Brewster. Um, so I, I feel like, you know, that I'm going to put him in the terraform tier. I do like Blathers more than I like Brewster though. And I also love that they are essentially best friends, Blathers and Brewster. Um, that's very cute. But yeah, 
I do like Blathers more than I like Brewster, so Brewster obviously isn't number one. He's number three, third place. And we're continuing off with this Big Bang because next up we have Celeste, our baby girl, our astrology queen, Blathers' younger sister. I feel like everybody knows that, but just in case you don't, um, they're siblings. Basically, the way Brewster is about fossils is pretty much how Celeste is about stars. And I think that is so fucking adorable, iconic, amazing, a queen, a legend. Yes, she is beautiful. She is the moment. What is that fucking Wendy's Williams? Wendy's Williams? That's how I feel about Celeste. Boom. Um, I'm gonna put her there. I do like Blathers and Brewster more than I like her, but I think Blanca is a little lower. I am gonna actually try to like rank them within each tier. I say try. I'm probably not gonna be able to by the end, but for the most part, at least like the first two terraform, or at least the terraforming in the bottom tier, I'll try to like rank them properly. Oh, next up is actually, I don't know if a lot of people know who this is. This is Chip. And essentially Chip is what CJ is in New Horizons. If you play Pocket Camp, you probably know who he is because yeah, Chip's in that game. He runs the fishing tourney. I'm gonna be honest right now, I guess cause CJ's right after, we can talk about both of them. They are father, son, I think or like uncle nephew. I don't know. They're related. Um, I like Chip more than I like CJ. Sorry. I'm going to be honest about that right now. I prefer Chip to CJ. I don't know why. I think it's just because I'm used to Chip because he was in every game and CJ was only just now introduced. I will say though, the fact that Chip eats the fish that you give him, that's a little weird, but it's kind of funny at the same time. It's like he only throws these fishing tourneys and goes to everybody's towns and is like, catch the biggest fish you can find, catch the best fish so I can eat them. Like, that's kind of funny. Whereas like CJ just takes photos of them, which like obviously, yes, that's telling of today's times and social media and the fact that CJ is a Twitch streamer. I think that's funny too. The fact that T CJ is like a top streamer and he streams himself fishing. That's hilarious. I will give him that. Let's just start off with Chip. Chip, where would I put him? Big pocket. He's good. He's not great, but he's good. And CJ, on the other hand, I feel like if CJ didn't have like such repetitive dialogue in the game, because he's another one, like everybody talks about Orville and Isabel. I feel like CJ has the same problem. Like TJ just talks so much. Oh my God. And I get that like with him, it kind of makes sense because he's a streamer. But like, does he have to say the same thing over and over again? You have to go through like four pages of dialogue just to start the fishing tourney every single time. And it's so annoying. That's why I stopped playing the fishing tourney. Yeah, Nintendo, if you're watching this, please make CJ not talk as much, at least the second time. Like the first time is fine. But then it's like, does he have to say the exact same thing over and over again? Like we're not that dumb. <laughs> like we know what he's trying to say, please. Anyways, yeah, if CJ didn't have such repetitive the dialogue in the game I would like him a lot more than I do but I think I'm just gonna have to put him in the better graphics tier he's pretty mm, yeah he's meh he's meh he does what he needs to and I do like his character and like who he is like it's like I said it literally is so creative and I am a fan of it I just wish he didn't talk as much and this is coming from somebody who talks a lot I've been recording for 30 minutes now just so we know and I've only gone through seven <laughs> out of God knows how many there are. So when I'm telling you that you talk too much, you fucking talk too much, shut up. God, and speaking of shutting up, next up we have fucking Copper. Copper is essentially the exact same as Booker, but if I had to compare him to a character from Brooklyn Nine-Nine, Booker was pretty much Scully. I would say Copper is more, I'm gonna say Wunch. I don't know if that's offensive, but like I, I get Wunch vibes from him. He's obviously a lot nicer than Wunch. I mean like Wunch was pretty nice too. She was just mean to, well she was mean to everybody. I don't know. I like Wunch. Is that unpopular <laughs> to say? I actually do like Wunch. Um, I liked her character. I mean like if uh, the, when Wunch said like, oh I'm not not homophobic. I respect you as a gay man. Like, obviously I relate to that and I like that. Anybody who says that, I automatically respect them. So like, yeah, but I, I don't like Copper. I feel like Copper is homophobic. I feel like Booker, if you told him that you were gay, like he would be like, okay, cool. And then like, he would just go back to what he was doing. I like that. <laughs> That's kind of the reaction I prefer. Just, okay. And then like, go back to normal. Nothing's changed. Whereas Copper would be like, slur. I'm not going to say it, but he would say the slur and then throw you in jail. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's just move on. Who the fuck is that? Oh, that's Cornimer. I don't know who Cornimer is. Honestly, I didn't play the GameCube game or is it Wild World? Let me Google it. Cornimer. Yeah, he's in Wild World. He comes during the Acorn Festival because fun fact, Wild World had no holidays. Um, They had like in-game only holidays. They didn't have any actual ones. That was a choice. He's in New Leaf. His head appears on the machine that the players must chase and whack with a hammer. Don't really have any thoughts about Cornimer. All I have to say is that's an overgrown man under there acting.
anything like that. Is he even getting paid? Did he get paid to do that? Again, I don't really know, Corner. I didn't play Wild World. I feel like I've said before that I have played Wild World. I've actually never played Wild World. Ooh, fun fact. I've only played City Folk, New Leaf, onwards. I haven't played any game previous to that. <laughs> I'm not that big of an Animal Crossing stand as I've said I was. Oh wow, fun fact. Oh, next up is Cyrus. Oh, our good boy Cyrus. I'm not doing that. I've said before basically what he was. He was basically the way you would uh, customize your furniture in New Leaf, the game he was introduced in. But you know, now that you're able to customize your own furniture, he's kind of, well actually no, I do have like a theory for how they would reintroduce him in the game. I don't know like how he would come. Maybe he's like a reoccurring character the way they kind of are in Pocket Camp or like like Reese has her little stall. Ooh, actually, yeah, that would be cool. Like in Town Hall, Reese and Cyrus would come and like maybe instead they have like a tent or something and like Reese would sell like maybe a new kind of furniture set, like the refurbished set or whatever because like it's a flea market or maybe like you can introduce like the trash. Is it the trash? No, the sloppy series. The sloppy series from New Leaf. Ugh, one of the best ones in the game. I don't know why they got rid of it. Maybe she sells furniture like that and like other new leaf furniture and some new ones too nintendo if you're watching this get creative come on we're paying money for this game so like put some effort and cyrus on the other hand would also be there maybe like he's not always there but like maybe he is sometimes because like in new leaf you know sometimes or like in the beginning of the game he's sleeping and then only after a while you would unlock him um so that would be pretty fun to like he's only there sometimes and like basically when he's there you're able to like customize the furniture that you can't customize elsewhere. So like your Nook Miles Plus furniture, like the vending machines and stuff, you're able to get like the other color variants or like, I guess like all the furniture at Nook's crannies, the ones that can't be customized, like he would be able to do it for you and basically like reupholster them. I, that would be really cool. And again, like I said, like it doesn't have to be like every single time they're there, like maybe only like every other time Cyrus is there. So that way you're still kind of tempted, you're still kind of tempted to like trade with people and such because that's why Nintendo did that feature in the first place to promote Nintendo Switch Online. They do that in every game though. They always promote ways to like trade and like play with people because playing with people is like a big part of Animal Crossing. Some of us are antisocial though, Nintendo. Some of us are afraid of other people. So please do it for us. Do it for all of us a social folk myself included but i do like cyrus as a character i kind of like like that kind of old school 50s vibe that he has going on he has like the little quaff hairdo and like kind of like the 50 slang like i get grease vibes from him i feel like he would call me a slur though at first but then he would like educate himself and then he would be cool with it but like you know like maybe reese would like beat his ass or something <laughs> and then he would be okay with it he's definitely like a jay pritchett i feel like <laughs> you know, from Modern Family. I do like Jay Pritchett though. So like, I can, yeah, I can, mm, yeah, he's big pockets. I think Chip's better though. Next up in the game, oh, my laptop fan is starting to go off. Uh, next up we have Daisy May. Hmm. We're not getting into Joan until much later. I will say right now, I want to like Daisy May. I do. I think she's adorable. She's such a baby. She's such a girl boss. She's probably like 10 years old. I know like it's a like a specific character design from Japan and like in Japanese culture. I just hate that stupid snot nose. Like, I'm sorry. I don't like it. It's just kind of gross to me. Like, I'm not really a fan of like bodily fluids in general and like bodily functions. Like, I hate fart jokes. I hate like diarrhea jokes and shit in like TV. Like, I don't like that kind of stuff. And I just, I hate boogers <laughs> in general it's so gross i wish i didn't have to have them i wish i didn't have to do like any kind of bodily fluid honestly like if i was somehow able to like stop shitting and stop peeing and just like you know i don't know like <sighs> blow out all my fucking bodily waste i would do it because honestly i just i hate it so much it's so annoying it's such a waste of time i just don't want to do it <laughs> and i just like every time i see daisy may i'm reminded of the fact that i have to wake up every morning and use the toilet so i don't like daisy may i want to though because like i said she's so adorable and like daisy may that's such a cute name but she makes me mad she makes me mad so i'm just gonna have to put her in the um, she's mad i don't really care about the turnip exchange either like i don't i don't play it stock markets i don't do that shit i'm not one of those weirdos money is a social construct capitalism fuck that shit i don't know <laughs> <laughs> She's making me mad. I'm gonna put her in the breakable tools tier just because no one else is there. So sorry to the Daisy May stands. Cause like I said, she is adorable. She would just be much cuter without the booger. Moving on, we have Digby. Ooh, a lot of people probably don't know who Digby is because he is not in New Horizons and he was only introduced in New Leaf and 
Happy Home Designer and like that era. And I know a lot of people are doing, well, actually that's not true. New Leaf was one of the more popular ones. What am I saying? TLDR, or I guess TLDH, too long, didn't hear. Digby is Isabel's twin brother. They're twins, they're brothers and sisters. To everybody who ships them, stop. I feel like Digby was like the jock in high school. He definitely was like the one who peaked in high school, but then somehow managed to like continue the peak. Like he peaked and it's still up there. You know, kind of like he's he's cool. Oh my god, Lottie's not on here. Is she? Oh, I just realized that. We'll get to Lottie. She's not on there, but I'll let her in. Um <laughs> I just I'm reminded of Lottie because she's also from Yeah, Digby basically works for Tom Nook. He's a part of the HHA, you know, the people who judge your houses. What was like his role? I know in New Leaf he was the one who like had that area on Main Street at the back where like you would go and like see other people's houses via Street Pass, which honestly that was such a cool thing. Street Pass in general, Nintendo. Once again, why? Why did you get rid of Street Pass? Like, that was such a sick feature. I wish they implemented it on the Switch. That would have been so cool. Bring back Street Pass. And, like, the fact that it's not even on the Switch Pro. The Switch Pro. You really fumbled the bag with that one. Digby's cool. I like him. I think, like, juxtapose him to Isabel. I don't know if I used that word correctly. Like, it's pretty cool. Like, Isabel being kind of, like, the go-getty, happy, peppy, girl boss. ooh ha hoo And then Digby being kind of the more kind of chill, laid-back, smug character. It's cute. It's cool. And I like the contrast. I do like Digby, but honestly, he doesn't really like, I don't know. His role in New Leaf was kind of just so small that like you just forget that he's there, especially if you didn't even use Street Pass at all. Like he was just there. Sometimes Isabel would mention him, but like she wouldn't even mention him by name. She'd just be like, oh, my brother. And he would be like, he would be the one who would like talk shit about Isabel. And that was kind of funny. He'd be like, oh my God, her room is such a mess, blah, blah, blah. Um, And I did like that. But honestly, if they do decide to bring him back, which I don't think they would, but I guess it it would make sense because like I said, he's Isabel's twin. Like I, I hope he does get a bigger role, but in just judging him based off New Leaf and I guess Happy Home Designer. I don't remember what he did in Happy Home Designer. Was he in charge of Amiibo? I can't remember. Yeah, he's just meh. I like him more than I like Booker though, so. Next, oh God. <laughs> Next up is our long boy, Sir Don Rossetti. Some may know who Rossetti is. If New Horizons was not your first game, everybody knows who Rossetti is otherwise. um, Don, on the other hand, just like Digby was kind of, I think he was the older brother instead, but like a very contrasting character. Whereas like you have Rossetti who's like, Grr! I fucking hate you. Fuck you, bitch. Don's more like peace and love, bro. That's the best way to describe him. I again, like I really like the contrast between that kind of shit. I love when like characters like that, where there's like, especially when it's siblings, like opposites. That's so funny to me and just such like a creative way to have siblings in a show. And I do like Don as a character, he's pretty cool. So I'm gonna put him in the big pockets tier. Personally, haven't experienced him though, so I'm just gonna put him towards the end. I love how every single person in the big pockets tier is wearing blue and two of them are wearing like blue overall apron type clothes. That's funny. Anyways, next up we have Dr. Shrunk. Dr. Shrunk is a weird one for me because I like him a lot and I really did, like he was like one of my more favorite characters. He's not top three, but like I did like him a lot and I think by that already you can tell where I'm gonna put him. I'm just gonna put him up there. That's his spot I would give him for now. But the thing is, especially now, because if you don't know who he is, let me just brief thing. He basically would be the one to teach you reactions and emotions in the previous games. He was like a comedian. You would go to his shows. You would be like, oh, I want to see the laughter show. And then he would tell you a joke relating to laughter. Like, oh my God, I laughed so hard. Piss came out my nose. And then boom, now all of a sudden you know how to laugh because that's how it works. Yeah. But now that in New Horizons, villagers teach you your reactions and stuff, and they basically do exactly what Dr. Shrunk did in previous games. It makes me wonder, like, are they going to bring him back? Because this is like one of the first characters you actually look at and you're just like, are they going to bring back Dr. Shrunk? Because like, I literally can't think of any possible way to bring him back in the game. Like there's literally, because his one thing, his one job in the game is already in the game. So it's like, what's the point of the actual character? Even though the character himself, like Dr. Shrunk is so funny. Ugh. I just love like the idea of like a failed comedian teaching you how to fucking, I don't know, be angry at somebody. That's so funny. And like, he's an axolotl and like axolotls are icons, but it's just sad that, <laughs> I don't know, there's literally like no way to bring him back into the game. You know, my thoughts, and I consider myself to be a creative genius. So if I'm struggling, I don't think Nintendo's coming up with any ideas themselves. Let's be honest. I do miss him though. So Nintendo, like I said, if you're still watching, which you better be, I told you to watch till the end. Do you have any ideas for how you're gonna bring him back? Are you gonna bring him back? Please do. Cause like I said, I really do like him. He is one of my more favorite characters in the game, as you can tell by his ranking. Next up, oh, here's another one. Cause like I said, I never played the 
GameCube game. That's Farley. I don't know anything about him. I could just watch like a Mayor Mori video or something. I mean, I have the tab open. Let's just Google him real quick. What does he do? Let's find out together. He lives in the fountain and comes out to give the player a golden ax. Oh, so he had like kind of a minor role, I guess. That's the fountain in the GameCube game. I know that. I don't want to put him in the bottom tier because I feel like he is a cool design. But since I don't know who he is, I'm just going to put him in the better graphics tier. He's meh for me for now because like I said, I don't really know much about him. Look how many characters we've had. I've been recording for 50 minutes. I got to zoom through these. I was worried that like this video was going to be like, oh, I was only going to record for like 30 minutes maybe and like zoom through all these. Lo and behold, I forgot who the fuck I am. I talk about everything for no reason. Um, yeah, we're not even halfway through this damn list. Hopefully my phone doesn't die. <laughs> Flick. I like Flick. I'm just gonna say that. Between him and CJ, I like Flick. He's Rar XD. It's very hot in here. Sorry. He is Rar XD. He is the epitome of Rar XD in Animal Crossing, and I think that's why a lot of people like him. I like him too. Him and CJ are fucking boyfriends. Get it in your head. They are boyfriends. And yeah, like I said, I like him more than I like CJ personally, and I do think in comparison to Nat, there's like more of like the contrast between him and Nat. Nat was more kind of like creepy and Flick was creepy in a different way. But like I do like him is what I'm trying to say. And just the way he loves bugs so much. And he just wants to like look at them all day. I get it. I'm not with bugs, but like I get, you know, that kind of feeling. I'm not going to put him in the terraforming tier though, because anybody who likes bugs that much, I don't trust. I don't know why people have such fascinations over bugs. And the fact that he's holding a freaking Hercules beetle or whatever that shit's called in his official artwork, like, come on, dude. Nat's not even doing that. Why are you doing that? <laughs> come on, Flick. I'm just going to put him in the big pockets tier. Next up, we have Franklin. We're going to just ignore Franklin from New Horizons for a bit and talk about him in previous games specifically in city folk because that's the one that i played fucking loved that version of thanksgiving so much and i hate that they got rid of it i understand why they did but like again it was just so funny the fact that tortimer who at the time was the mayor calls franklin and is like hey we want to invite you to our town for thanksgiving dinner and then he shows up and he looks at the table and realizes you know there's no turkey there and then he's like wait they're inviting me for dinner to eat me <laughs> And then he just hides and it's up to you to like sabotage the dinner so that, you know, he doesn't die. And I think that's just so funny <laughs> in a freaking kid's game. Like, oh my God. <laughs> Again, I understand why they got rid of it, but like, I wouldn't be mad if they brought it back. <laughs> like, that's all I'm saying. It is kind of funny, but I will say like in New Leaf and I guess New Horizons, it's the same thing. I'm not like too big a fan of that version, but it is kind of funny as well. Like now he's the chef and he's the one making the Thanksgiving dinner and it's up to you for some reason to like go around and get the ingredients. Sir, you're the freaking chef. You should know better. Like, come more prepared. That's just the start of, you know, the holiday characters coming unprepared. We'll get into that. I watched The Amanda Files Girl. Let's just say we have the same we have the same opinions on most of the holiday characters. I'm going to tell you that right now. So because of that, I feel like Franklin, I guess I'm going to do this. Like, Franklin, City Folk, and uh, Population Growing, the GameCube game, he would be in the terraforming tier because that shit is hilarious. But Franklin and New Leaf and New Horizons would, I'd probably put him in the breakable tools tier. So I guess if you average that out, he's just gonna go in the better graphics tier. Yeah, average, better graphics tier. He's meh overall. He would be in the big pockets tier, but like I said, he's not like one of my favorite holiday characters in the game, but meh. Next up we have, uh, that's Frillard. Frillard is essentially... Dr. Shrunk, but more older and professional. And it's alluded alluded to in more recent games that he died. I don't know if that's true, but if it is RIP. Again, I didn't really... And he was in City Folk, but I just, I don't remember him. Like, he was kind of just there for me. Like, he would have, like, the more, like, special emotions in the game. I don't know which ones they were, but, like, in City Folk, you only had four emotions at a time. Like, you can only have four. That was weird. And I didn't really like that. New Leaf, he wasn't even in New Leaf. So, like, I don't know. He's kind of just there for me. So, I'm just gonna put him in the same tier as Farley. Anyways, next up we have Gracie Grace. And let me fuck tell you bitch i love gracie grace so much a fucking queer icon just a fashionista and i i have a theory for how they're gonna bring gracie grace back into the game 
and I'm going to share it right now. Basically, I think now that label no longer works for them, they're going to come to your island looking for a new apprentice. And lo and behold, there you are looking fashionable as ever in that outfit that you're wearing. And they're going to be like, oh, can you help me create some clothes? Because that was label's old job. And like, I need someone to do it for me. I make the designs, label makes them come to life. So then you would go and be like, okay, give me the recipes. And then boom, that's how they introduce crafting clothes in Animal Crossing New Horizons. But oh no, wait, you don't have any of the materials to craft the clothes. So what do you do? You go to Able Sisters, you talk to Sable in the back, and she's like, oh, I have some extra fabric. Would you like to buy it from me? Boom, that's how you buy fabric in the game. And then you can craft them at the crafting bench. It would make sense to use the sewing machines in game as well, but I guess for like continuity purposes, you're probably just gonna make them at the crafting bench to make it easier, cause like not everybody has sewing machines. Unless they like give you one when you start that mission thing or whatever. That's how you craft clothes. And then you craft the clothes, give them back to Gracie. And they're like, oh my God, thank you. You're so talented. Oh, wow. Maybe this town is worth living in. Um, I'll see. But here's a Gracie Grace furniture piece thingy for now. And then boom, now you have a Gracie Grace furniture. And then weeks later, Gracie Grace comes back and is like, hey, do it again. Do it again. Um, words. More Gracie Grace furniture. And then maybe four or five times later, Gracie Grace comes back, does the thing. You're like, boom, here it is. She's like, thank you. They're like, um, cool. Uh, you mind if I move here, open up a store? Y'all are baddies and you deserve my baddie shits. So <laughs> cool. I'm going to move into the nooks and boom, top four of, of Nookingtons when Nookingtons finally comes to the game becomes Gracie Grace's store. Voila, basically New Leaf all over again. That's what I think they're going to do with Gracie Grace. And I rambled for a very long time. I have two dogs. Fun fact. That one's named Portia, just like the villager. Do you want to say something, Portia? No, I agree. Gracie Grace, terraforming tier. Oh gosh, next up we have, I don't know who, that's, I don't know their name. I think it's like Granny, just simply Granny. It's Cap'n's mom. Uh, she was in New Leaf. She had like a little shop on Tortimer's Island where she would sell the mermaid furniture as well as like the Cabana series. I don't know if that one's in New Horizons, but it's a cabana series it looks like i don't know maybe editor me will put it right here and she also sold uh what did she sell she sold the wetsuit as well and i think it was the silver shovel or like the silver axe or something because there used to be silver tools in the game and i don't know why they're gone and she also sold the hibiscus bushes which if you don't know the hibiscus bushes is my favorite bush in the game granny herself kind of weird as well she's Cap'n's mother so i'm not surprised by that granny i don't fucking remember her name what was her name grams okay same thing <laughs> Like Grams. Her name is Grams. I'm not ready for this next one. Next up is Gulliver. Gulliver is an interesting character. Le let me say right now. Okay, something happened. Hang on. My cat broke something. Sorry. <laughs> I get, speaking of mess, here's another one. Gulliver, the pirate one isn't in here, but like same thing. It's the same thing. It's just as alter ego. Oh, Gulliver's Travels. I love Gulliver's Travels, specifically the the Jack Black version for obvious reasons. I love Gulliver's Travels and I love that he's kind of based off Gulliver's Travels, but like Jesus Christ, he's so annoying in the game. I don't like Gulliver. I'm just gonna say that now. Like it's fun the first few times, in New Horizons and in previous games too, what was like his thing in New Leaf? In New Leaf, like he would come and then he would kind of quiz you. He's like, oh, I'm trying to go to a certain country, but I can't remember what. Here's a fact, they have French people and they eat croissants. Do you know where I'm going? France? Oh, cool. And then he goes to France and then he sends you the Eiffel Tower in the mail. Um, In this game, we all know what he does. Very annoying, especially Gulliver having to dig up his stupid phone pieces, dumb bitch. Girl, stop traveling. Go get some help. I'm gonna put him in the breakable tools tier. <laughs> He's not bottom tier. He is kind of funny. And like I said, it's cute the first few times. I don't do it anymore. Every time he's on the island, I just leave him there. Let him get washed away to another island and learn his mistakes. And Gulliver, if you're watching this, get some help. I'm so out of breath. I've been recording for an hour. Harriet's next. There's another one that I'm kind of like, how are they going to bring back? But then there's smart people on Twitter who are like, oh, maybe she could just be like a wig specialist and sell wigs to you, which I think is a cute idea. I actually think that's like a really cute idea. It would be a great opportunity to also bring even more diverse hairstyles into the game. Yes, we have a lot now, but like there's always room for more when it comes to diversity. Let's be honest. I feel like it would be really cool to see some like more hair styles for both like feminine and also masculine and then maybe in between as well some fun stuff 
here and there. Wigs. Shout out to wigs. Harriet though, I do like Harriet because yeah, in previous games, that's how you would change your hair. She would have a salon in City Folk. It was in the city. I don't know if it was in Wild World. I don't think in Wild World it was there. Like I said, I didn't play Wild World. New Leaf, it was on Main Street. One thing I liked from New Leaf though was the fact that like, I think you had to go to her like seven times. And then like in New Leaf, it was a very binary game. You were a male or a female, but she would be like, if you were male, say, she'd be like, hey, you know, I think you would look really good with some female hairstyles. Do you want to try that? And I really like that. Like you were still able to get female hairs in New Leaf. Granted, it took a while to get them, but like I do like that in New Horizons. They're there from the get-go. Shout out to New Horizons. That's another feature that I really love. Just the, the breaking down of gender barriers. That's always fun as well. I guess that should have been the S tier, let's be honest. But again, like that's kind of like something that should be happening in life sim games. Gender really is a construct. That's what I believe. I don't give a shit if you don't believe that. Click off. I mean, you're already watching. If you've been watching for this long, you might as well just stick till the end. <laughs> like, But still, let's just say that right now. Gender is a social construct. Do whatever the fuck you want. Shout out to Harriet. <laughs> For being a gender bender icon. Um, I'm gonna put her in the big top in the big pockets tier though. I, I like her more than I like Chip. Um, I don't know if that rant made sense. Fuck gender, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh next up is Harv, our weed smoking legend. Ooh. He reminds me of Leo from that 70s show. They're literally a carbon copy of each other. I like Harv a lot. I, again, preferred him in New Leaf than I do. I like Harv more in New Leaf than I did. He was introduced in New Leaf. He had like his own campground area. That was how you were able to bring um characters like the Sanrio villagers into your game. They would like kind of park their RVs at the campground and that's how you would invite them to your town or get like the special, like the Sanrio furniture. He also had like his own line of furniture. It was like the pizza box and like what else was there there's the cypress plant and like all that stuff again i liked him more in new leaf as well the campground in general such a stunning place um i don't know if there's a photo of it here it is it's a really fun place and i did really like the welcome amiibo update in new leaf <laughs> it was the only update we got i think like the only major update we ever got in new leaf and it was a fun feature i will say that now the amiibo capabilities like it really did change the game in the long run harv's cool i feel like he's vegan He's definitely vegan. Vegans are cool. I'm not vegan, but shout out to vegans. I'm gonna put him in the big pockets tier though, but I think if I'm being honest, I do like Chip more than I like Harv, but I like Harv more than I like Cyrus. So he's gonna go in between. Okay, next up is another controversial one, in my opinion, Isabel. Now, Isabel, um, girl boss, obviously she's basically the mascot of Animal Crossing at this point, which I think is so iconic. Like the fact that she was introduced in New Leaf and then immediately became the mascot, like, She's not even like people when people think of Animal Crossing, they don't think of Tom Nook. Most of them don't. Some think of Isabel. I think of Tom Nook, but that's just because I played City Folk. Isabel is such an icon, but I'm gonna be honest. Like Isabel in New Leaf, girl boss. She was an icon. She was the moment. She was a legend. That's the quote, I think. But then her in New Horizons, she was just meh. I and that makes me so mad because Isabel in New Leaf, honestly, is like one of my all-time favorite video game characters. I don't know what that says about me as a person. Isabel in New Leaf was basically Leslie Nope from Parks and constantly like working 24 7 she only got one hour of sleep every day and was raring to go and like yeah i literally get leslie no leslie nope vibes from her and i feel like that's why in new horizons even though she's so bland and boring like i'm kind of like you know it's what she deserves she was such a hard worker so like she does deserve a break that doesn't mean she has to be boring because in new leaf basically she did what tom nook does in this game minus the houses like the building the bridges and inclines and you weren't able to move your villagers houses but you had public works projects which is essentially, you know, furniture of this game. It operated the same way as the bridge and the incline. You would place them around your town and it was things like a fountain or a park clock. It was a little dull, let's be honest. Obviously placing furniture in New Horizons, million times better than in New Leaf, but basically Isabel did everything for you. <laughs> she was literally running the town and keeping the town alive. And Isabel in New Leaf, without her, the game would have flopped. Let's be honest. I think Isabel was such a fun character. I feel like she was influenced by Leslie Nope because I get serious Leslie Nope vibes from her. But like I said, in New Horizons, and I think I'm going to have to do what I did with, who was it I did it with? Oh, Franklin. <laughs> I literally forgot. Oh my God. I'm going to just do what I did with her. I'm going to average them out. Isabel in New Leaf, terraforming tier. Hands down. Literally, like I said, one of my favorite characters of all time. Bye. But she's not my number one. I will say that. She was not my number one. But in New Horizons, she would be in the better graphics tier because like I said, she's just mad. She's just there. So I feel like if you were to average it out, she would be in the big pockets tier. And honestly, I still do prefer her to flick anyways. And next up, ooh, 
I don't think people are surprised by this one because I have said it before, but next up we got Jack, my boy. Ugh, spooky daddy. Jack is my favorite New Horizons, or not New Horizons, just my favorite Animal Crossing character of all time. I'm gonna get that out of the way. Number one, my favorite. I fucking love Halloween so much. I would say it's my favorite holiday. October, even though I was born in November and I want to say November is my favorite month of the year, of the year. honestly, it's October. I love spooky season. I love autumn. Dressing up, honestly, like, I I don't really dress up anymore, but like I still love the idea of it. And I just feel like Halloween time is always just like such a good time of the year. Even when you're in school, like honestly, university kind of sucks, but like October is still like a good month for me. Jack is the best like holiday NPC in the game as well. He's the only one who always comes fully prepared. And I respect that. I respect that so much. He knows what he wants. He knows what he's doing. He comes, he's like, listen, this is what you need to do. I don't want you to do anything for me. You're doing this for you. And you're going to give me your shit so that I can give you this in return. Go scare some fucking villagers because they're all dumb. Blah, blah, blah. And like, I just, I respect it. And also, I think like Halloween, each game, Halloween is always the best holiday. I was pleasantly surprised with how much I loved Halloween in New Horizons. I genuinely thought I was going to hate it. What was the one before that? It was like Bunny Day. Bunny Day was shit. <laughs> We'll get into that later. Bunny Day was garbage. I was really just hoping for this one to be as good as it was in New Leaf. And honest to God, yeah, it was as good as it was in New Leaf. I'm not going to say it was better, but it was it was really good. It was really good in New Horizons. And I was just, I was so happy for that. Because like I said, Halloween is my favorite holiday. And Halloween in Animal Crossing, my favorite time of year. I fucking love that holiday so much. Obviously, I think it was better in New Leaf. I think New Leaf was like the best version of it personally. I really liked how in previous games, um, well, I mean like in New Horizons, I think it was so adorable that the villagers would like dress up in like actual costumes. Because in previous games, they would all be basically dress up as clones of Jack and you have to go around looking for Jack the way you do in this game but like you know it was kind of more fun in the previous games because if you bumped into one of your villagers they would automatically start a conversation with you you didn't press anything they would be like hey give me your fucking candy you little shit and if you said no they would pull a trick on you and it was like actual tricks in this game they just kind of paint your skin and your face or whatever and it's like kind of harmless because they're like oh here's a mirror right away they're like oh I'm sorry I did that here's a mirror go fix yourself whereas like in New Leaf and like previous games they would like literally steal shit from your pockets <laughs> like they would literally take something like if you had a valuable furniture in your thing they wouldn't care they would steal it from you and then boom it's gone you can't get it back I like that honestly I mean it, it really did like present a challenge to the game and that's always fun when there's challenge in your game but no honestly I do I, I think Jack and Halloween in general they get it right every time and I will give claps to Nintendo Nintendo I know you're still watching Thank you for at least getting one thing correct in this game. I still love New Horizons. Thank you, Nintendo, for once. Thank you, Nintendo. My phone is gonna fall. Uh, that did nothing, but I'm gonna. So next up is Jingle. Wow, I, I'm gonna feel really bad because I just gave Jack so much praise. And next up, we got Jingle. I love Jingle. I Let me get that out of the way right now. I love Jingle as a character. So adorable, such a great design twinkly. I love Chaka Khan, right? I know Chaka Khan was favorite character in the game is Jingle, but honest to God, I don't like Christmas in the game. I love Christmas in real life. Let's get that out of the way. I love Christmas. Another holiday. I think like all the holidays towards the end of the year. Great. I think it's just because I like fall and winter. I'm not really a fan of summer and spring. Like this time of year. Ugh. Yes, the trees look beautiful. Like look at that tree outside my window. Fully grown. The neighbors can't see me. That's great. But I do prefer winter and fall just because I like colder weather. Snuggled up in a blanket and being able to hide my body with chunky sweaters and shit. I'm wearing a shirt that says virgin. But honestly, I think once again, like I've talked about it before in um that one speed build. That's my most viewed video at the moment. It's almost at 10K views. That's crazy. I think it was that video I talked about how much I just hated Christmas in New Horizons. It was so boring. It was literally so boring. You'd get it boom that's it it's done there's no challenge to it at all it's literally just oh here's a bunch of here's the gift bag go give the gifts to the villagers but like you can't even open the gift bag you just go and you're like here's the gift and like it does it for you and it's like what <laughs> where's the challenge come on like i get that it's a kids game but like girl come on like the previous games were kids games too and like they were complicated and hard but it was still doable new leaf's christmas was pretty fun though i will say that it was basically like the same thing but you actually had to guess over like pretty much all of december they would be like hey Oh my god can't wait for christmas i asked jingle for a blue gift or i asked jingle for like a piece of furniture and then come christmas jingle would do what he did in this game but you like would get the santa bag and you would look in it and it would like be like oh actual items in the game like you have like the lovely armchair and like 
the blue wall and stuff. And you would have to like go around and actually guess which villager wanted what. And then if you got all of them right, you get Jingle's photo. Kind of like you did in this game. Yeah, like I said, it was more challenging. It was actually more fun. And it was just more motivated to play. It didn't take like three seconds to finish the game. You actually had to like use your brain, play each day of the month, which again, like I kind of understand why maybe they changed it because like not everybody plays every single day. I'm just a loser who does, especially December time. Like not everybody's playing Animal Crossing every single day. So like, I get that. I just wish they didn't do it the way they did. I wish they did it a little better. And hopefully next year or this year, I should say, you know, they make some changes to the Christmas holiday and like make it a little more challenging than it actually was. Basically, I have the same opinions as I did in that speed build. I don't remember exactly what they were, but I, I do agree with them still. So go watch that speed build if you haven't already. Get it to 10k views, please. But yeah, honestly, I do like Jingle though. So I think I'm just going to put him in the big pockets tier, but he's going to be on the lower end. Like Jingle as a character, great. I just didn't like Toy Day, especially in New Horizons. I loved it in previous games though, but New Horizons, he would have been in the terraforming tier if it weren't for New Horizons. So thank you, New Horizons, for ruining Christmas. Next up, we have Joan. I don't really have any thoughts about Joan because like I said, I don't really care for the turnip exchange at all. I only have turnips so I can catch the ants and the flies. And then after that, it's like, whatever. I know like that's the best way to make bells in the game, but fuck capitalism. I don't care about being rich. Joan is meh. I literally Googled her before I started recording because I needed to remember her name. That's Caitlyn. Caitlyn is a dumbass. No offense to any Caitlyn watching this y'all are cool she wasn't in newly so like i don't know her properly i only know her from chugga conroy's videos shout out to chugga conroy <laughs> um but basically in like city folk I, I think she was only in city folk i'm not sure though i could google it but i don't want to but basically in city folk um you needed to have friends in order for her to like come to your town she's similar to blanca but basically she would come and she would be like oh my fucking god i lost my daughter i don't know where my daughter is i was traveling all day today and now my daughter's not here and like you're just there like uh what and she's like oh i think i went to she might be at this town and that town would be like one of your friends' town so then you would have to like call up your friend and be like hey can you open up your game and bring katie her daughter to my island please and then that friend would be responsible to bring katie the daughter to your island and reunite the two of them and all i have to say is caitlin like Okay, like, once or twice losing your child, okay. I'm not a mother, so, like, I can't judge. Girl, like, you're doing this every week. At somebody's town, you're just showing up like, I fucking lost my child. How irresponsible are you? We don't stand irresponsible parenting on this channel. Do better. You're in the wrong tier. Oh, I just said his name. You're better than Cornimer, though. Miss Ma'am. Come on. Do better. You're better than that. Next up, we have Cap'n. The way everyone feels about Brewster is how I feel about Cap'n. Yes, Cap'n's a little weird. I will admit that. But Marine Song 2001 is my favorite song in the game. And it's... I... I think it's actually sung by Cap'n, not by KK originally. I like Cap'n. I didn't like him in City Folk though. The fact that he was a bus driver, that was weird. And like in Wild World, he was a taxi driver. But I did like him a lot in New Leaf and I love Tortimer's Island. And I want Tortimer's Island more than I want Brewster's Cafe, honestly. I know that's like controversial, but I just, Tortimer's Island offers more to the game. Especially like the fact that like, it was just such a great, it's the reason why I still play New Leaf. Like Tortimer's Island is so fun. And I just want Cap'n back um obviously i like brewster more than i like cap'n though like that's the thing is that i want brewster as a character back in the game but i want cap'n in terms of tortimer's island i want tortimer's island more than i want cap'n whereas like with brewster i want brewster back more than i want the cafe so like um i'm gonna put him in the big pockets here yeah I, he's um mm, do i like flick more than i like cap'n i like cap'n more than i like flick yeah that's the thing i love that his head's cut off i didn't make this tier ranking thing by the way i guess i should have said that first i'll leave a link to it down below if you want to do it i should have said that at the beginning but oh well next up oh first we talked about caitlin now we have katie who is caitlin's daughter katie is so annoying i again i didn't place i didn't ever play with her in city folk because i didn't have friends in city folk chaga conroy once again coming through with the info she was in new leaf but once again didn't have friends in new leaf but she would essentially do the same thing in city folk you would be like running around your town and then all of a sudden there she is just fucking crying in the corner being like wham my mommy i miss her blah, blah, blah. so then you would have to call up your friend and be like hey is katie in your town or caitlin in your town and then you would go and drop her off city folk oh my god from the videos that i've seen she was so fucking slow like you would literally have to like walk 
around because if you ran too much, she would like trip and fall and then just like sit there crying like wah, wah, wah. So it's just like, <laughs> you would have to take your time getting her to the gate. And if she was all the way down at the beach, ooh, you spent like at least 10 minutes trying to get her up to that gate. And then you would go drop her off with her stupid mother. She came back in New Leaf by herself. Caitlin wasn't back in New Leaf, but she was. And again, it's essentially the same thing. You had to have at least visited at least like one of your friends. And then she would show up in your town. She's grown up now. Like she's like a teenager. And she's like, oh my God, hi, I'm Katie. I'm traveling for the first time by myself. Ooh, Ivy got lost on the train though. I was supposed to end up on X this town, which is your friend's town, but I accidentally came here. Can you show me the way to the train station where I just was and help me get to my friend's town? And you'd be like, yeah, sure. Again, I never experienced her myself, so I don't have any personal experiences with her, but like, I think the concept of her in New Leaf specifically is kind of cool. Um, I like the idea of her being like a travel girl and like needing your help. And she would give you like specific items in like exchange for getting her to the next town even if you don't get her to the next town she'll be like oh i managed to get on the next train don't worry and she would like send you special items i think it was like the world map and stuff which obviously is in new horizons so i don't think they're gonna bring her back like this is one of the characters i genuinely don't think is gonna make a return in the game but if she does that would be really cool i'm just gonna put her in the better graphics tier alongside farley and fillard because i don't really know katie that well so um if you're a katie stan good for you next up we got a bad bitch another bad bitch we got miss katrina cat or Katrina, the fortune teller. She's another one, honestly. I feel like they need to bring her back. I'm surprised that she wasn't in the game from launch. You know, especially because we have recurring characters like Sahara and Red and such. So like, why wasn't Katrina introduced or reintroduced into the game? I don't understand. She was essentially like one of them. She would show up in New Leaf specifically. She would show up in your town, in your town plaza, in her little tent and be like, oh, here's a fortune. Um, And then she would be like, oh, in order to have good luck for the day, you need to be wearing this certain item. And then if you have that item on, you would have good luck for the day. You would get more bells from the money rock. You would not like die as often i don't know katrina was cool i really did like her i miss her nintendo bring her back i don't really have much else to say about her but i do really like her and honestly i, I i'm just gonna put her in the big pockets tier um i think i like her more than i like flick as well she's cool that's all i'm gonna say and speaking of cool, next up we got Kix. I don't know if a lot of people know this, but honestly, I think Kix's storyline, like in the series as a whole, is so fucking dope. Um, because if you don't know, in I think City Folk was the first game he was introduced in. He would be in the city and he was actually homeless. Like he was, I think he was homeless, but he would sometimes show up like on the steps of like the empty building next to I think it was next to the salon. And he would be like, Hey, do you want a shoe sign for like this much bells? And you'd be like, sure, that's how you would change your shoes in the game. He would shine them so fucking hard that they changed colors that was pretty cool and then in new leaf boom he had his own shop and it's like that's kind of cool like he went from being homeless to having a business and he would sell shoes to you you know in new horizons he's basically the same thing but he's one of the recurring things i think he's gonna have his own store because i still have the theory that there's gonna be like a shopping district island similar to main street or the city from previous games and maybe that's where the airport at the beginning of the game is you go there and then like there's label with her store maybe gracie grace is already there with their store as well Kix is there, maybe Leaf as well. Basically all the recurring characters who come like every now and then have their own shops there, minus like Sahara. I like Kix. Kix is such a sick character. I love his design so much. He's so fucking cool. Kix is basically what Digby is trying to be, if we're being honest. I like Kix. I just, yeah, I like him. Honestly, he's, he's terraforming to me. And honestly, I like him more than I like Gracie Grace. So I never realized like how much I liked Kix until New Leaf. Um, next up we have KK Slider. I like him. I'm just gonna say that KK is an icon. KK is doing what most pop girlies think they're doing. There's just something about KK that kind of makes me uncomfortable. I think it's just when he's standing, like if you ever see him standing without his guitar, he just looks so weird. I'm gonna be honest, he looks a little weird. I look at KK, especially in this game, now that like the graphics have gotten better. Why isn't he furry? Like every other character, yes, they're all smooth, but like they have like the fur texture to them. So they look textured. KK looks so smooth. Honestly, I feel like if you touched him he has like the same consistency as like a hard-boiled egg and if i'm being even more honest i feel like he smells like one too because he travels a lot and i feel like kk slider is very stinky he also kind of looks like my cat i'm gonna put him in the big pockets tier because kk is like one of the staple characters of the game and obviously 
he is iconic. Shout out to Marine Song 2001 and also KK Synth and KK Hyp or Hypno KK. Those are my top three songs. Next up, we got Labels. Speaking of Animal Crossing lore, this is another one. I love the Able Sisters storyline. We're going to do all three of the Able Sisters right now. I'm going to be honest. I want to do all three of them right now. We're wasting no time because the Able Sisters storyline is one of my favorite things from Animal Crossing. The fact that like they are sisters, first and foremost, duh. They had parents who died, which we all know about. But one thing that you don't know is that Sable, or you may not know, is that Sable and Label are the older ones. Sable being the oldest, then Label, then Mabel. Mabel was a baby when they died. Sable and Label did not like each other a lot, so Label ran away from the family and ran off to the city to work with Gracie Grace, who's already on the chart. Um, And she kind of just like abandoned her sisters. So Sable had to take care of Mabel by herself, and she was basically a girl boss. One thing that I loved about City Folk, I've talked about this before, was like the whole little side quest where like you would actually have to kind of like reunite the sisters because Label had been sending Mabel letters and stuff from the city but Sable was like no because Label's a fucking bitch she abandoned her family blah 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 and then you would have to like go to Label and be like oh blah 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 why'd you do it and she'd be like oh blah 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 I did this and then you talk to Sable being like blah 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 she's sorry blah 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 and then you would reunite them and then Mabel's like yay I have another sister that was in City Folk where you know she worked for Gracie Grace and then in New Leaf Label moved back home because she wanted to start her own brand oh and also in City Folk she went by LaBelle instead because she was trying to like abandon her roots and she was trying to be like an urban girl but she had like a southern accent that would like sometimes slip out it was actually really cute i didn't notice that until i went back and watched like sometimes she'd be like hey y'all whoops i mean i didn't mean that sorry yeah in new leaf she came back she moved back home because she wanted to start her own brand so like her sisters would help her and they talk about it in new leaf um sable brings it up when you talk to her more often and i just i really like the able sister storyline as a whole so honestly i think all three of them are in the terraforming tier for me but if i'm gonna rank them personally of the three of them, Sable is my favorite. I'm putting Sable number four for me. She's like one of my top fours. Um, Label, on the other hand, I'm going to put a little lower because like I do like her and I kind of relate to her as well. Her and Sable are actually really similar in the sense that like you have to talk to them more to get closer to both of them. Whereas like Mabel is kind of like you're friends with her from the get-go because she's a very social girl. But like Sable Label, it's like you got to talk to them more often. And then with Sable and New Leaf, you know, we all know the thing. You got to talk to her like every day and then she opens up to you. <laughs> and Label, it's kind of funny in New Leaf. The more money you spend at her accessory shop, she would get more closer to you. Yeah, I think I like Gracie Grace more than I like Label. Kind of funny that they're right next to each other. But I do like Label more than I like Mabel. No offense to Mabel. I did not realize how much characters I have on the terraforming tier. Wow, can you tell I love this game? And speaking of the terraforming tier, next up is Leaf. Listen, Leaf loves nature. I love nature as well. I love trees. You can't see it, but I have a tree poster. Actually, I'll show it to you right over there. All the way, I can't zoom in. There over there next to a wolf poster. I love trees a lot. Leaf loves trees. Leaf loves flowers and bushes and um, weeds. I love weeds. Leaf and I are one. I feel like if I had to be one of the special NPCs, I would probably be Leaf. Either Leaf or Brewster if I had to pick one. Um, I'd probably go more with Leaf though. I just love him so much. He's so adorable. And yeah, as you can see, Terraforming tier, and he's top five for me. He is one of my favorite characters and he's definitely my favorite out of all the ones that were introduced in New Leaf. So next up is Leilani. Um, Leilani is Cap'n's wife in New Leaf. That's the game she was introduced in. She worked at Tortimer's Island. She was basically like the main one there. Like you would go to her to like start the games. You would go to her when you wanted to go home. I like Leilani a lot. Honestly, she's so adorable. She's kind of a meh character for me as well because like she's kind of just there personally. Like she doesn't really do much more than just surf face and help you out with like Tortimer's Island and stuff. I wish they gave her a little more personality and hopefully if they bring her back in New Horizons, they maybe will do that like I don't know I kind of want to learn more about her and see like why she married Cap'n and how she deals with Cap'n's mom next up is Leela who is Leilani and Cap'n's daughter she's kind of weird so I'm just gonna put her there and we're gonna move on next up we have Lloyd Lloyd um I do like Lloyd but like honestly once again just I, I'm just gonna say it's meh obviously without Lloyd we wouldn't be able to br build bridges and shit on our islands and our towns he was in New Leaf as well meh, I don't know he's just there so, I don't really have much to say about him. How does he spawn, though? Does Isabel carry him to, like, all the locations? That's what I wonder. Like, does he just, like, sprout out of the ground? Or, like, does he, like, does someone have to, like, 
purposely place him there. That's always something I've wondered about. Anyways, next up we have Luna, our big titty taper baddie. I love Luna. And honestly, I don't see a lot of people talking about it, but I actually really like how they introduced her in New Horizons. Obviously, I wish she was there from the beginning. I don't know. That was a weird thing to like not have her from the beginning. But I honestly think it, it makes a lot more sense for her to be in your dreams. Literally, like you would go to sleep and then she would pop up in your dreams. Like that makes more sense than her having her own building in New Leaf, which by the way, people don't talk about, but like you actually have to pay for the building the way you would a bridge or an incline in this game. She was a public works project and like you have to pay like 200,000 bells for her shop to come to the game, which was really weird. I like that in this game, she's kind of there from the start, at least after that update. It's like as soon as you get a bed, which you get one for free um, at the beginning of the game, boom, you're unlocked. She's unlocked. So it's like, that's kind of cute, I think. I do like Luna. Again, though, like I feel like in terms of personality, eh, you know, but like it makes sense with her character because she's not supposed to be like this. Woo, wow, woo, you know, she's supposed to be calm, cool and collected. She's just there to do her job and, you know, send you to a freaking island. I like her a lot. I'm going to put her in the big pockets tier, though. I have like the same energy as her as I do with Katrina. I feel like they're very similar. They would make good girlfriends now that I'm looking at it. Oh, they would. They would make good girlfriends. Oh, my God. Where's the Luna and Katrina shippers? Oh, God. Next up, we have Lyle. Um, Lyle, first of all, I guess I should explain who he is for those who don't know he is the leader of hha aka the one who's judging your fucking houses and being like that furniture doesn't go with that furniture you fucking dumb bitch shut up <laughs> he's just uh, why is he judging your homes that's weird and um she's not here but lottie is lyle's niece and she was introduced in happy home designer and she would basically work for lyle and kind of like she was essentially like the tutorial leader tutorial leader we're not in university she was essentially like the one who would teach you how to play the game i liked her a lot honestly i kind of did she was pretty cool. I It was kind of cute as well how she had a crush on Digby. Um, And it was very apparent how much she had a crush on Digby in the game. She was essentially like supposed to be the next Isabel. Because I remember for a while, Lottie was like the mascot of Animal Crossing. Like Animal Crossing, you know how it is now. It's Isabel. The Twitter name is Isabel and everything. Like it used to be Lottie for a little while. That was a weird blip of life and if i had lottie on here i would probably put her in and eh, probably just put her in the better graphics here if i'm being honest she's kind of meh i would probably put her in between digby and lloyd i like digby more than i like her if i'm being honest sorry lottie but next up we got nat oh i fucking love nat i love how like in real life i prefer fish to bugs i hate bugs but i love flick and nat more than i love chip and cj i just i like nat so much he's so kooky in like a good way i get like utica queen or like anita wiglet vibes from him he's just so funny and like he's essentially the same thing as chip where like he would only throw the bug offs because he wanted to eat all the bugs but he wouldn't eat the bugs in front of you he would wait until that shit was over and then go home and then eat the bugs he wouldn't just eat him in front of your face like chip did weirdo um and just for that reason alone, I'm going to put Nat in the terraforming tier. But honestly, I think he's going to be on the lower end. Um, I just, I like all the characters on there more than I like Nat. Nat's still cool. And speaking of cool, we got Pascal. Ooh, I love Pascal. Oh, uh, Pascal is a great character. He's just a fucking inspiration. I... I feel like everybody knows a Pascal in real life. We all have one. Um, He's cool. I like him. Was he in New Leaf? Oh yeah, he was. He had the exact same role as he does now. In New Leaf, I think he just gave you the pirate furniture set instead of the mermaid recipes. I prefer the pirate set to the mermaid recipes. In this game, Gulliver is the one who gives you them, which I guess makes more sense because he's a pirate. I'm going to put him in the big pockets here. I think he's going to go in between KK and Cap'n. I'm going to say right now, I know I was giving like so much hype over... Halloween in the game but honest to god I think festival was the best holiday in New Horizons I need more water oh my god I've been talking for two hours straight holy shit I've been recording for two hours by the way almost <laughs> I think this is the longest I've ever recorded as you can see the sun is gone it's almost 10 p.m I started at eight. <sighs> Gosh. Javi, like I said, I think Festival was the best holiday in the game. We all remember Festival on El New, right? Miss Sydney, I'm talking to you specifically. I think Pavi is like I although I'm biased and I love Jack so much, I think Pavi is like a close second in general to like the holiday characters. If I had to rank the holiday characters alone, I think we're done with them. So I can do, oh, we're not done with them. But I, and we all know where that last one's going. If I had to rank them, it would be Jack, then Pave, then Jingle, then Franklin, and then the other one who we'll get to. I just love how flamboyant Pave is. Pave is such a fucking icon. <laughs> I just, I love Pave. Terraforming tier, 
That's obvious. And I think I'm going to put, uh, yeah, we'll put them in between Gracie and Kix. Once again, I, I'm just going to switch Phineas with Phyllis because we're going to talk about the three birds, the post office birds. Now, we all know I fucking love drama. I've talked about them before and I think the video where I did Tom's house, I love all three of them so much. I want them back in the game so bad. Because <laughs> like I said, if you want drama, look no further than these three messy things right there. Pelly, Phyllis, and Pete. Phyllis is the purple one. Um, Basically, they ran the post office in previous game. I don't know why they got rid of the post office in this game, and I really do hope that they bring it back because I miss those three so much, but honestly, I don't think they're going to because letter writing isn't really like that big of a deal in this game. In previous games, it kind of was because it was one of the ways you could like up your friendship with your villagers. Basically, there was a love triangle between the three of them. So you had Pelly, who was in love with Pete and then Pete was in love with Phyllis and Phyllis was in love with herself because Phyllis is the fucking icon of the three of them. I really do hope they're going to bring them back. It would make sense to just like stick them right in the airport where the letter writing thingy already is. And then I, I talked about it before and I want to bring it up again. Basically, I feel like they're going to like if they're going to bring them back, make the love triangle into like a love pentagon or whatever. Add the Orville or the Dodo brothers into it. It would be so funny because personally, I can genuinely see Pelly and Orville getting together. They're going to get together. They can probably get married. I get like Jim and Pam vibes from them. Even though I just said that Orville's like a nerd. As we all know, Pete has a crush on Phyllis and like isn't madly in love with her. Like he's always talking about her every time you see him. I think Phyllis is going to fall in love with Wilbur though. Like I can see Phyllis like being there and just being like, oh my god, Wilbur's such a fine ass man, blah blah blah. And then Pete kind of getting jealous of Wilbur because of that. And then Wilbur is kind of like the one who's just there in love with himself because Wilbur is also an icon. I, I like Wilbur a lot. And I can just see that happening. And it would be really funny please nintendo just please please listen the sims 4 is starting to add lore back into their game with cottage living so all i'm asking is that animal crossing does the same i'm gonna put them all in the big pockets here yeah i think they're like they're not like my favorites because i'm basing it off of like every single game i'm not just basing it off like new leaf or new horizons i'm trying to base it off all three of the games that i played which were city folk new leaf and new horizons so because of that i'm gonna have to put them in the big pockets here even though i love all three of them so much but if i had to specifically rank them i think phyllis would be like up around here between kk and pascal pete would be kind of like over here yeah in between chip and harriet and then pelly i think around the same spot yeah i like pelly more than i like pete i think yeah i think that's how i would do him so next up is actually phineas and phineas is another one that i'm really curious i don't think they're gonna bring him back either um basically in city folk he would sometimes pop up in the city and like sell you like glow sticks and balloons and all that shit which they now do in the fireworks festival um and also in nooks crannies and then in new leaf he would essentially come to give you like badges that's what they were it's essentially like nook miles in this game the nook miles rewards but it's like a little less it's not as in-depth as it was like it was really just for like the hardcore things like saving a certain amount of bells or playing for a certain amount of hours and stuff and catching like all the bugs and stuff it was a lot more intense than it is in this game like there's some way like you have to play for, i think it was like 300 days or like 3,000 days in order to get the gold badge for the playtime one it was a, it was a lot and like you have to like visit a hundred islands i never did that because I'm not a pro gamer. I do like Phineas though, but honestly, I think I'm just gonna put him the better graphics tier because he's just kind of there. Honestly, yes, I did get excited every time he showed up in my New Leaf Town, but like next up is Porter. And let me tell you something about Porter. Porter is like one of the messiest NPCs. And it's not even just because Porter's a mess. Like Porter himself is like fine. It's just the way that Nintendo handles him. Basically, Porter is a train conductor in population growing because that was the main method of transportation. And then in City Folk and Wild World, he disappeared. And like nobody knew why. But then all of a sudden, boom, there's this new villager, Champ, who looks exactly like Porter. You may recognize him if you watch the movie because he was one of the villagers in that movie. So it's kind of weird. So people kind of theorized that Porter was Champ and like they just changed him into a villager instead. You know, Nintendo was like, no, that's not true. We just decided something else. And then the theory got weirder because in New Leaf, since there was a train, Porter returned, but also Champ was removed from the game like champ is the only villager from city folk and wild world to not make it into new leaf and new horizons so people are th like that really just further cemented the theory that porter and champ are the same even though they have different birthdays i think yeah i don't know why nintendo decided to do that i think they just did that to like mess with our minds i think that's so funny though like the fact that there's two characters who look exactly alike and they never show up in the same game although i'm pretty sure there's that one wii u extension with like all the villagers in that like little 
little tree plaza thing. I don't know. I never had a Wii U. Porter and Champ are both in there, which kind of ruins the suspense, but oh well, I'll let it slide. But if I'm talking about Porter alone, like as a character, he was okay in New Leaf. I don't know. He didn't really... He was meh. Yeah, he just did his job. He sent you to your friend's towns and, um... That's it. Yeah, so I guess he's meh to me. Um, He's probably just middle tier. Literally right in the middle <laughs> of the middle tier. Next up, we have Red. Unpopular opinion. Incoming. I like Red. I do. He's a scammer. He's a crook. He's a criminal. He's Tom Nook's ex-husband, boyfriend, partner. I, I just, I like him. I do. I kind of like that snarky villain type character. And I feel like it just makes sense in Animal Crossing to have one of them. And like, I kind of just like him. I really do. He's a crook. And I feel like if I knew someone like red in real life i would punch them in the face but i just i like red okay i'm gonna put him in the terraforming tier i'm sorry i will not be justifying that i just i like him uh next up we have reese our southern bale as we all know i like reese a lot i really do i think between her and cyrus and like in new leaf in general like she is one of my four more favorite characters that were introduced in new leaf she's not top tier though so i'm just gonna put her in the big pockets here i think like yeah honestly like i think my top like three new leaf characters that were introduced were leaf isabel and reese yeah everybody else up there was in previous games so yeah i like reese she's adorable i love like that whole Marie Antoinette thing she's got going on with the white face. <laughs> I don't think that's what they were trying to go with her. I get Southern Belle vibes from her. And she's just very nice and adorable. And her and Cyrus are very adorable as well. So that's all I'm gonna say about that. So next up we have Rossetti. And I think this is another controversial one, but I actually really like Rossetti too. Again, I just kind of like, I wish Animal Crossing had more villains. Like, I hate when there's just too much positivity in a game or just in life in general. There needs to be like something to like clash with the positivity and cause conflict because that makes life more interesting when you have conflict. Rossetti was fun and I really, I really just hate how they nerfed him. I was already pissed off with how they had nerfed him in New Leaf because in New Leaf he would only yell at you once and then you had to like get his reset center and then like he would be like so nice to you about it. Every time you reset he'd be like oh ooh, ooh, don't do it again. You know if you do it again I'll come back and say the exact same thing. Like, uh. Whereas like in City Folk and like previous games he'd be like you fucking piece of shit. Fuck 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 fuck. I feel like if this was not a family friendly game he would be swearing he would probably be the only one swearing he'd be like fuck 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 i'm censoring all that out but yeah like again if it was just city folk alone he would be top tier if it was based off city folk and new leaf he would be in the big pockets tier average it out but honestly in new horizons he would probably be in the bottom tier because i really hate what they did with this character so if we're averaging it out i'm probably just gonna have to put him in the better graphics tier he really is just one of the meh characters now which is so sad like i love for him so much in City Folk. And I liked him as well in New Leaf. He was kind of cute. Like, even though he wasn't like the entire time, like, he was cute. I liked how kind of soft boy he became, but he was still very, like, but not, you know, if that makes sense. I'm gonna put him as the first place in the better graphics tier, and he's probably gonna stay there for the rest of the rankings because there's not much left. Um, Next up, we have Rover. I was very surprised when I booted up New Horizons for the first time and learned that Rover was not the one who introduces you to the game. I'm gonna be completely honest. I was surprised that it was Timmy and Tommy instead. Rover was like basically what Timmy and Tommy did at the beginning of the game. That's what he did in previous games. He'd be like, oh, where are you going? And then you'd be like, like, oh, I'm going here. And then he'd be like, oh, I heard of that place. Is it this one? And then he would show the map and you'd be like, yeah. And then he's like, oh, cool. Okay. I'm going to ask you questions now. And these questions are going to determine how you look because that's how it used to be like in the game. I don't know why that was weird. I feel like if they had, like, if I was in charge of New Horizons, like I would still have Rover be the one who would like introduce you to the game. But I would also have Timmy and Tommy there. Like maybe you start off with Timmy and Tommy. They would get your name, your birthday, and then like how you look, you know, your hair and your skin tone and everything and then you would go and sit down and then rover would be like oh hey what's up how's it going oh where you going oh you going there cool wait i don't know how that town looks can you show me on this map and then rover would be the one who would like select the map for you because like obviously the island already exists so it's like kind of weird that timmy and tommy would be like oh can you pick the island for us whereas like it would make more sense if it was like a bunch of islands and then rover would be like is it one of these ones and then you'd be like yeah it's that one and then rover talks to you and kind of is all like he gives like his little speech like oh yeah traveling's fun i can never stay in one town because i'm a rover blah 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 
And yeah, that's how I would have had Rover in the game. I do like Mayday. Mayday is cute, but I just, I wish he offered more to New Horizons than just simply Mayday. I'm probably just going to put him in the big pockets tier because I do like Rover a lot. I know a lot of people don't like him. I do. I think he's cool. Next up, we have Sahara. They're just trying to get their coin, you know, despite the language barrier. I respect them for trying. It's kind of weird how they're kind of making a joke out of like someone not knowing English, but like it is funny at sometimes like <laughs> when, when in like New they'd be like, I sell paper for the walls and cars for the pets or pets for the cars. And like <laughs> saying wallpaper and carpet, like that kind of stuff is cute. I do like it. And I like Sahara. Sahara's cool. Um, big pockets here. Don't really have much else to say about them. We'll put them there. Um, so next up is Serena. Now Serena, um, we mentioned Farley like two hours ago <laughs> at this point. Um, Serena was essentially the exact same role as Farley, but in City Folk. Because in City Folk, um, I never experienced this personally because I didn't know this was a thing. But um, in City Folk, you were able to donate, whoops, donate your bells to a, a, a faraway town called, I think it was like Boondocks. Essentially, the more you donated to them, the more they would be like, oh my god, thank you for your bells. Um, Here's a gift for you to say thanks and they would give you like another bridge they would give you a windmill or a lighthouse depending on your town and then they would also give you like a fountain in front of your bus stop and then sometimes if you stood in front of that fountain and like swung your axe like woo your axe would fall into the pool and then serena would spawn like what's up bitch and she'd be like uh why the fuck did you throw this axe in here you dumbass and then you'd be like Ugh. and then she'd be like oh i have three axes here um which one did you throw and it would be your axe the golden axe and the silver axe it really it was like a random event but like it just depended the day <laughs> that you did it sometimes like you answer truthfully she'd be like okay here have your axe back but then other times if you answered truthfully she'd be like wow i commend you for your honesty here's a golden axe but then sometimes if you go and you're like oh i threw the golden axe in there she'd be like okay here and then sometimes you go and you throw you say the golden axe she'd be like no you dumb bitch you fucking liar here's your old axe Psh. yeah it was a weird one like i said never experienced it myself but i do like serena but this is another one like this was in city folk so i don't think serena's coming back to the game i like her storyline so i am gonna put her in the big pockets tier because she's so sassy and funny so next up we have the snowmen or the snow people i should say we only have one of them the one that's right there next to the woman and like that was how it was in pretty every game but in new leaf like the snow person had like an entire family the snowman the snow dad i think and the snow tyke why did they get rid of them basically like there was the original snow person i don't know what his thing was i think it was like you have to do it perfectly and then he would give you a furniture set the way he does in um, this game. But then he had a dad who basically you rolled up and he would give you like a bingo card and you would play bingo with him every day. And then there's the snow ma'am who's like the mother and her thing was she's like, I want snowflakes. And you would go and like catch the snowflakes once again, how you would in New Horizons, but you would give, I think like three of them to her and she would give you an icy furniture piece. And then the snow tyke, that was kind of adorable. They just wanted all their family on the island. It didn't matter what their shape was. They would just be like, oh, Oh, is all my family here? No, not yet. I'm missing my mom. When all four of them respond, they didn't have to be like right next to each other. They could be anywhere on the island. He would be like, yay, thank you. Here's the furniture. Once again, it just gave more variety instead of just having to do the same thing over and over again. Honestly, I think I'm still gonna put them in the terraforming tier. I just love the sass of the snowman overall. Like when you do a horrible job and they're just like, you fucking dumbass. Please bring them back, Nintendo. You're still watching, right? You better be. Bring them back, please. So we're almost done. Next up, we have Timmy and Tommy. I wish I could rank them separately, but this ranking thing makes me wanna, has me putting them together. So we're once again gonna average. I'm team Tommy. I love Tommy. I relate as the younger sibling. I love Tommy so much. Tommy is adorable. He deserves his own world. Timmy, on the other hand, fuck that piece of shit. Timmy is weird. So I would put Timmy in the meth tier and Tommy in the terraforming tier, but since I have to rank them together, I'm going to average them out and put them in the better graphics tier right over here. And next up, we have their father slash uncle slash boss slash whatever the fuck you want to call him, Tom Nook. I love Tom Nook. Some may say I kind of look like him. He is a staple of Animal Crossing capitalist pig without him you wouldn't have a house let's be honest he had to make his bell somehow so obviously he has man boss moves in him yeah controversial but i do like him more than i like isabel 
I mean, I like Isabel, New Leaf Isabel more than I like Tom Nook, but New Horizons Tom Nook, I think is better than New Horizons Isabel. So because of that, I think I'm just going to put him right above Isabel in the Big Pockets tier. Tortimer used to be the mayor of the town before New Leaf, and then New Leaf, he retired, and you would essentially take his job as mayor. He's a weirdo. We all saw Cornimer, right? Tortimer is cool. I like Tortimer's Island. Once again, I think Tortimer's Island, I'd rather have Tortimer's Island than the roost. I said it already. Hey, hey, horf is his like catchphrase. I don't know. Tortimer's cool, I guess. So Tortimer is going to go in the better graphics tier. Yeah. <laughs> Next up, we have Wendell. See, Wendell's another one that I wonder, like, how are they going to bring him back? How did they, how, what was his role in New Leaf? His role in New Leaf um, was essentially like the little custom designs machine. That was his role. You may have seen the memes, but yeah, basically he would be the one to give you designs. And then in City Folk, he was like, this wandering villager who would be like, oh, I'm so hungry, give me food. And then you give him a piece of food and then he would give you a design in exchange. And it's like various like Nintendo related designs. They were pretty cool. I like Wendell a lot personally. Um, I don't think he's gonna come back though, which is sad. But it, I mean, like I hope they bring him back in a way relating to designs and stuff. Like maybe he works part-time for Gracie Grace. That would be really cool, I think. Or like he works for like some kind of a painter or something. Because his thing is that he's a good painter. He has like his own painting and stuff. So like maybe, maybe he works for the museum or maybe he works for Red. Who knows, we'll see. I like Wendell a lot. So I'm gonna put him in the big pockets tier right up there next to Cap'n and Reese. I don't like Wisp. I don't think I've ever liked Wisp. Wisp has always just been kind of there for me. Um, I don't know what his role was in City Folk. I can't remember, but I think it was really similar to what it is in New Horizons. But in New Leaf, um, his role was essentially the way to bring Amiibo Villagers into the game. You know how in this game it's in a machine. He was essentially that machine in New Leaf. Like you would find his genie bottle, take it back to your house, and then he'd be like, oh, thank you for saving me. In return, I could possess the bodies of various villagers if you have a specific thing which is the amiibo card and then you'd be like hey i'm gonna turn into this villager cool i will say though in new leaf one thing that i loved about him was if you scanned in someone like tom nook or isabel or blathers and then have them come to your campground because that's what they would do with like special characters they would go to the campground and then you can get like various furniture pieces watch chaga conroy's video on that you can yeah. <laughs> One thing that I loved about that little feature was that if you brought someone like Isabel, who worked at Town Hall, to the campground, Wisp would essentially take over her job, and then you basically couldn't do anything related to what Isabel did in the game for the whole day until the next day. Isabel's main thing was like public works projects and like town tunes and all that. So if you brought her to the campground, you couldn't like work on your town for the day, which I think was funny. And then Wisp would just be there like, oh, hi, yeah, Isabel's at the campground and she called me in to like replace her for the day, but I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm just going to stand here and look cute. And yeah, I thought that was really funny. Wisp New Leaf, I actually do really like more than I like New Horizons Wisp. He's kind of just there. <laughs> so the better graphics tier. I'll put him up here though, next to CJ and Tortimer. And last but not least, we have that boom we're done i'm not gonna talk about him this is the official ranking that took two fucking hours of my life spent ranking a bunch of fictional characters and this has no anything to do with my life but here it is the official ranking these are all my opinions um it's just a game <laughs> so don't get mad if we don't share said opinions if y'all likes a certain character more than i do put it in the comments tell me why but don't send hate because that's weird that's that i spent two hours of my life doing this i don't really have anything else to say like the video if you like the video i mean if you're watch if you're still watching yeah obviously like the video comment whatever you want subscribe i'm very close to 4,000 subs i'm literally only like 100 away i don't really have much else to say so i'm gonna go now because i need to sleep i'm tired as you can see it's night so yeah now here's the outro that i keep forgetting to put at the end of my videos so bye, bye.